All right, so let's talk about problem number six overall. This was just one example, um, but your problem on the test might be a lot different. A few things. This one, um, we were just given this axial force right there, 4.5. Now, be careful because sometimes, you know, like, so let, let's say we've got this and we've got this. Sometimes you might have to do statics in order to find that force. If we've got a force P right here, if we're worried about buckling of this member right here, right, we're, we want to make sure that this member doesn't buckle, then I've got to do statics to get the axial force inside, you know, the member that we are interested in. It is not P. So, so yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, just the force P is the, obviously the, that is the force inside the member, but sometimes you're going to have to do statics in order to, to get the internal force right there. Now, there are some problems where you know all the forces, and so you would do statics and you, you would get, okay, the force inside there is, you know, 4.23 newtons or something like that. Um, but many times you do statics and you write that in terms of P. Be like, okay, the force, the axial force inside the member that I'm concerned about buckling is, you know, 1.743 P. Um, and so I, I would put 1.744 P, you know, over here on the left-hand left -hand side of my equation. So anyway, be, uh, you know, be careful. Sometimes the force P is not the actual force you've got to do statics to find the force inside the member that you're concerned about buckling. Um, then the other thing, just go back and look at those strong and weak axes. Um, this one was a circle, so there was no strong or weak axis. But if, if it is a rectangle with a base and height, um, then you know 112 bh cubed is one and 112 hb cubed is the other, the, the other i. Right, I, so I X would be this, I Y would be this, um, and one might be larger than the other. Uh, the smaller I is the weak axis, right? Smaller I is the weak axis. Larger I is a small axis, all right? So if they are both supported the same way, it's going to buckle about the weak axis, right? If, if they're both pinned and pinned, then you don't have to test the strong axis. It's going to buckle about the weak axis. If they're both, you know, fixed and fixed, it's going to buckle about the weak axis. All right, but go back and look at those problems where the weak axis might be fixed, fixed, and the strong axis might be pinned, pinned. Sometimes they are supported differently on the strong axis versus the weak axis. So, if they are supported differently, I want you to do two different problems. Let's calculate it buckling about the weak axis, you know, and it says the weak axis is fixed, fixed. So I, I would do this P critical for the weak axis. Um, so I'd do the weak I, and I would have fixed, fixed, you know, for the K right there, and then solve for P. And then I, I would um, look at the strong axis. Maybe the strong axis is pin, pin. So I would take the larger I of the strong axis, and if it's pin, pin, then this K value is 1, uh, and then I can uh, calculate the P that it would buckle a, a, the, the um, strong axis. So, you know, find the force that it buckles about the weak axis, the force that it buckles about the strong axis. What's the maximum force I can apply? Choose the smaller one, right, because it will already buckle uh, against one of those axes. axes. Um, and then if I tell you to, which I think I plan on, um, test for yielding, test for yielding, either take the force that it buckles and calculate the stress that it buckles, you can compare the st buckling stress versus the yielding stress, or compare the force that causes it to buckle with the force that causes it to yield uh, to compare them to. Or what I did right here, compare the diameter that, that it will buckle and the diameter that it will yield um, to choose uh, which one, but um, I plan on asking you to test for yielding as well. I'm going to give you that yield stress right there. Make sure it doesn't um, yield first. When might it yield first? It, for a smaller length, a shorter and uh, fatter um, um, beam that it might yield uh, before it will buckle. 
All right.